In this tutorial in Cyberlink PowerDirector, we're going to show you the steps to creating a glitch effect. We're going to take this normal clip of cyclists and change the introduction with that effect. We'll show you what it looks like and then the steps to creating it. So now that you've seen it, what we're going to do is we have a normal clip of the cyclists that we placed on track number one. We're not going to do anything with that. But then we drag down to track number two, and we're going to take a second copy of that same clip and drag it down perfectly below track number one. So if you play them together, uh, there, you should see no difference. One is exactly on top of the other. We're going to spend some time editing track number two. So I highlight it, and then we're going to add an effect. We're going to add a Gaussian blur. So I go up to my effect room on the left side, and then we'll do alphabetical. We'll find the G category. And here we have our Gaussian blur. We'll take and drag it down and drop it right on top of track number two. Now we're going to modify the effect and actually keyframe it. So I click on the effect button above the timeline. And then we see we have the Gaussian blur selected. I'll turn the degree of blurness down to zero. So right now it's having no effect on my clip. But then I'm going to click on the keyframe button at the bottom. What we're going to do is we're going to turn that blur on and off. So I go in my settings to the effect and I have Gaussian blur chosen and I'm going to change the degree of the blur. I'm going to stretch out my uh, timeline indicator here and we're going to change it about every five to seven frames or so. I'll start out by setting a keyframe to start with Right here, there's my little blue keyframe marker. There is no blur effect there. I'll go over about five frames and I'll set it again. This time I'm going to change the blur up to about an eight, but I'm going to do something else. I'm going to have it blurred when the picture is off center. And to do that, all I need to do is move my mouse over the picture, hold down the left mouse button and drag and we'll drop it a little bit over here. So now it's off center. We see the original one beneath it. Then we go over about five, five or six frames or so, and we'll set another keyframe. Only here we turn the blur down to zero and we're going to recenter the picture. A little smaller here, and then we'll move again about the same distance. And what we do now is we increase our, our blurriness to about an 8. And that sets the keyframe automatically. And we're going to move it to another direction, offset it. And there we have it again. I'll move over about the same distance. And set. Uh, I can set another marker, I can just change the blurriness and it will set a marker automatically. And now we uh, want, let's see, the previous one was blurred. This one will be clear and with it, when it's clear, we want to center it again right in the middle of the, of the uh, image. And then we just repeat this pattern uh, for, oh, maybe three to five seconds. So we keep moving over, and this one we're going to blur about to 8, and then we'll drag maybe up to the upper left. And we just repeat this pattern of clear and centered and off-centered and blur. And it will set the degree keyframes, but you notice it's also setting position keyframes as well. So we alternate that back and forth. Then what we do when we're done with that as we go ahead, we close our effect window here. We're going to go back to our, con uh, our main content window. And I have downloaded from the internet a glitch example. And there's a bunch of them out there that are free. 
and we'll take and we'll drag that and drop it on track number three. Now I want to do something special with this because right now it's overlaying my clip. I'll click on my tools button and I'll click on power tools and then I'll click on blending mode. And with the blending mode selected, I'm going to switch from normal to screen. And now you see it blends over. And all I just have a couple of frames ready with this short example. Um, but you saw the longer one earlier. And if I go ahead and play it, we'll give ourselves some more real estate. You can begin to see what it looks like when you combine the, the shakiness, the blurriness, and the glitch effect. Okay. I'll play it again because it's a very short segment that we worked on. And then we'll play the finished example again so that you can see it. But we hope you find this helpful in creating your own glitch effect.